guys welcome back this is Saurav and now you are watching the Rao classes in today's class we will be discussing about share types of share and shareholders about share capital of the company though we did discuss about the incorporation incorporation of the company in the last video in today's class we will be discussing about basically about the terms related with share though for your convenience I have written here the definition of share what is it, what does it means is that the unit part of the total capital of the company is called share. The total capital of a company is divided or broken into some pieces. And if, if you will look into those individual pieces will be called or referred to as share. The company though for its own convenience breaks its total capital into pieces and gives uh, or provides for the cost of each share. And that, that particular share can be divided by, can be used to divide the total capital of the company so as to obtain the total number of shares. Though I, for your convenience, I have uh, ex explained here with one example that suppose a company has a total capital of rupees 5000, broken into pieces of rupees 2 each, and find the total number of shares of the company. If you have been asked this question, what would you have to do here is that the total number of shares equals to the total capital of the company divided by face value of one share. Here it is 5000 divided by 2 which gives us the value of 2500 is the total number of shares that a company does own. In our childhood when, you, when we used to study in class 6th and 7th we were taught that if the total amount of money with you is rupees 100 and if you, if you go to uh, a shopkeeper and ask him to give you pen which cost rupees 10 each then what number of pen will he give to you then what did you do in that time is to divide the total amount available with you with the cost of one pen and obviously you did get to have the total number of pen available sorry that a shopkeeper should give you is equals to 100 divided by 10 equals to 10. In that case you were given 10 pen of such kind. Okay in the same manner we have to divide the total worth of the company by the total face value of one such share which could give you the total number of shares of the company furthermore we will be discussing about the share capital shareholders and the types of shares of a company so now moving towards the next topic is our shareholders who are called shareholders that's a, the persons owning the respective number of shares on their own name are called shareholders the persons who does owns the respective the particular number of shares on their own name are called shareholders of that company and the next topic is that the share capital what does it mean so the total amount that a company has raised by the means of issue of shares uh, is called share capital and that particular amount amount can be raised only by the means of issue of shares and nothing else for instance I have given here an example that suppose a company has a total capital of, of rupees 50,000 divided into rupees 5 each then the total nominal value of the share would be rupees 5 and the company would be said to have a share capital of worth rupees 50,000. Here this rupees 5 represents the value of one such share and the total worth the total share capital of that company would be rupees 50,000. I think that uh, the concept must have been cleared about the shareholders and the share capital of the company. Moving forth, we will be discussing about the types of shares. Here we have the classes of the shares according to section 43 of the Companies Act from 13. Provides that a comp share capital of a company would be of two types. Basically, preference shares and the equity shares. First of all, I will be discussing about the preference shares and its associated terms. Like, the preference shares are that type of share which carries some preferential rights. 
preferential that the meaning the word itself expresses that this type of shares carry some rights which are special from the point of view of the payment of dividend profits and the repayment of the capital in case the company owns up i want to say here that the preferential share are the share that carries the rights that the shareholder of the preference shareholder they are basically paid dividend before the equity shareholders and also the profits which are given before equity shareholders to the preference shareholders and the last and the most basic point that contradicts between the preferential share and the equity share is that the shareholders holding preferential shares their capitals are paid before equity shareholders in case the company owns up owns up when the company is going to close forever the company will pay the total amount of capital that the preferential shareholder owns earlier and before that those of the equity shareholders and uh, moving forth we will be discussing about the types of preference here so moving forth we have the types of preference shares according to company act 2013 that provides that the types of preference shares can be with reference to dividend where there are two types of uh, preference shares according uh, with reference to dividend dividend payment and it provides that the two types of preference share would be cumulative and non cumulative shares preference shares where the cumulative preference share holders will be given dividend and the non cumulative preference share holder will never be given dividend out of the profit on by the company second one thing is with reference to the participation in the surplus profit in this respect the the preference shares can be divided into two parts and the first one category will be uh, participating in the profits or the surplus of the company whereas the other type of the preference share holders that comes under the category of non participating shares they are uh, not given the share in the surplus that a company does own and the third uh, point of uh, uh, the third respect of the preference here is that the point of redemption redemption means the repayment of the capital from this point of view the preference shares can be divided into two categories broadly and the first one category will be called redeemable shares and the second one will be called irredeemable preference shares redeemable share holders will be given the capital at the time when the company owns up but the share holders holding the irredeemable preference shares will not be given uh, the capital of the company in case the company owns up and the fourth and the last basis of uh, uh, classifying the preference share is with reference to convertibility where the preference share holders having this privilege of convertibility can convert the share into preference share into equity share whereas the second one that the non convertible shareholders will never be given a chance to convert their preference share into equity one so i did discuss about preference shares now we'll be discussing about the equity shares moving forth we are now in the position to describe about equity shares the equity shares are those which are not actually preference share so what nonsense of course a mango cannot be an apple though i was not saying that in terms that a equity share cannot be a preference share is that the only point that describes that a equity share is not a preference share is that these equity shares are the most risk and rewards giving class of shares with the risk of being losing or all the value of share and rewards being payment of higher dividend and appreciation in the market value what does it means so equity share holders or equity shares carries the right of being able to incur heavy losses even even in case of the uh, bankruptcy of a company the share holders holding equity share can lose all of the all of the value of the share but the preference share holders can never lose the value of all the shares rather they are given the total value of the share that they were holding with them and those 
sum of the contrasting point be points between uh, the equity shares and the preference share has been described below as you can look here the first one point that describes that a, uh, that the equity share holders enjoy the right to participate in the management but though we discuss in case of preference here i didn't discuss about actually it in case of preference here but i'm now saying you that the equity share holders enjoy the right to participate in the managerial activities rather uh, but the preferential shareholders they do not carry the right to participate in the management managerial activities the second one property the second one pro contrasting point between preferential and the equity share is that the equity shares are the equity shareholders are repaid the capital after preference shareholders in case the company moves up the preferential shareholders they are given the amount of they are redeemed the amount of capital before than that of the equity shareholders and they have the equity shareholders have voting rights in all circumstances what does it means that so the equity shareholders carries the right to vote in all the circumstances uh, related to a company and its operations but a preferential shareholders are not given any such right to participate in the voting so if to participate in this circumstances of a company dividend is sorry the eligible they are eligible for the interim dividend payment the equity shareholders enjoys the interim dividend payment that in in this case the dividend in case when a company earns more profit and it anticipates that it could earn more profit than the earlier or the anticipated profit in that case the company uh, announces that the interim dividend between the year it can announce that some um, so more percentage or more part of the profit can be given as a dividend to the equity shareholders but this right of receiving the interim dividend is lack is lacking in case of preference shareholders okay now the fifth one point that describes uh, the about the equity share is that they are paid dividend after the preference shareholders the regular payment of the dividend it is paid to the equity share shareholders after that after that the uh, the preference shareholders are paid okay so i did discuss today in today's class about the share shareholders share capital and the types of share that is preference share and the equity share i did describe about the contrasting points between the preference shares and the equity shares i hope you did enjoy this class and if you did like this video you can like it you can share it with your native ones and you can subscribe my channel if you are a new viewer thanks for watching me